Hello fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Welcome to your what's coming up next in your love life tarot reading. We're going to be exploring the next chapter in love. What's coming up? What's new? What's resurfacing again? What can you expect? What can the Prisma Tarot reveal for you in regards to your love lives? So this can be applicable for you if you are an Aries, Sagittarius or a Leo watching, um, if you're a cross watcher dealing with an Aries, Sag, Leo, and also if you do have heavy fire placement in your natal birth chart, you may notice some of the energies resonate as well. So absolutely feel free to tune in. Um, let's give the cards a good shuffle and we'll see what's coming up. So don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and also to subscribe to the channel. That's very much appreciated. I really appreciate all your likes, um, shares uh, and subscriptions, guys. So thanks a lot. Let's have a look. My fire signs. The next chapter in love. Okay, straight away, I get the sense that some of you are attracted to someone and attraction and infatuation is going to lead to you falling in love with this person. So, okay, yeah, it's coming up again with the Nine of Wands. Straight away, I'm getting the sense that an innocent attraction or something you had not planned to be, you did not plan love or a relationship or a connection this intense is actually either coming up around you very soon or you're actually in it right now as we speak. Um, I, the reason I say that is because you have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is falling in love. Queen of Wands is, yes, normally about attraction. She's more spiritual, more adventurous, tests the boundaries a little bit. So what I, what I want to say is what started out innocent is becoming much more heavier than it is. And you're being brought together by that Two of Cups energy. Really powerful stuff here. This is the stuff twin flame and soulmate connections are made out of. So I really want to say for a lot of you, uh, fire signs, you're either meeting a soulmate, connecting with a twin flame, or meeting you happily ever after. The next chapter for a lot of you involves long-term commitment, love, engagements, dating, um, possibly even children. Okay, we've got the sun card. The sun is a youthful energy. Um, it does represent the sign of a Aries, um, but it could also represent uh, fertility and youthfulness, which can be translated into a child. So for some of you, the next stage is building a happy family home, okay, or welcoming in a child. So that's really beautiful. But um, okay, I really want to say that these... This kind of connection is really going to change the way you think and feel about love. I'm seeing a big epiphany that's taking place with the Four of Cups. Um, so I really want to say that what you had planned may turn out very differently. And not in a bad way. I feel like some of you may want to try to fight it with the Knight of Swords. Uh, I don't know if this is like a separate issue, but the Knight of Swords here, it looks like a battle, okay? It looks like an exchange of words. It looks heated. Um, it looks like it's fighting for something that you believe in. So I actually feel like the next chapter, you're either defending it or you're fighting it. This could be the connection you're fighting for. This could be fighting with your loved one. It's not going to be for all of you, but I feel like with the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Swords... The vibe I get from both these two cards shows me that there's going to be a lot more jealousy coming up in your relationships or you're going to grow a lot more jealous as a person. Okay, jealousy and possessiveness comes to mind. Um, or for some, there is an open-minded relationship or an open relationship. You're going to be seeing other people, um, maybe sleeping with other people, sharing your, your partner with other people. There's, I don't know if you're going to like it though. I mean, you can be quite possessive fire signs. So I don't know if you're going to like it, um, but I feel like with the Eight of Wands, things things are moving how they should be. Now, Eight of Wands is also about communication. So for some of you, if you're waiting to hear back on that special person, I feel like they may resurface, um, especially if this person hurt or deceived you because we've got the Seven of Swords. Some of you are entering a phase of deception. Either you're doing the deceiving or there's someone who's deceiving you, um, but it's someone you love and it's someone you hold close and it may just be that the epiphany is connected to finding out what they're doing. Now, this isn't always cheating, guys, okay? Deception comes in many forms. It could be someone doesn't tell you what they really do for work or 
someone doesn't want to tell you how much money they really have because they're trying to impress you and if they tell you they're going to feel embarrassed or ashamed it's someone not being completely honest now the reasons why they're not being completely honest are going to vary for some of you it's because this person feels afraid to tell you the truth maybe they don't feel ready they feel like you're going to leave them if they tell you the truth um it could even be that there, uh, there was deception that happened to them and they've been really scarred and you know, they, they don't want to open up about that. They don't want to tell you how vulnerable they were or how hurt they were. And for some of you, it's like you're second guessing going, well, why am I with this person? Why am I fighting for them if they're keeping me away? Like you're constantly going to be wondering why they keep doing this, um, but it's because they're in a vulnerable state. So I do feel like um, the epiphany can be like something that you didn't know about this person is going to be revealed to you in this next chapter. And this person's going to open up and they're going to feel that trust from you. Um, and, and what is the sun? The sun is warmth. So I'm getting the sense that you're going to sort of warm up to someone or show, show them um, a warmer side to you. And that's going to make them want to put down their walls if, they, if they've got them up. So you can look forward to a lot more openness in this next chapter um, with the sun card. But the sun is all about, um, the sun is the self as well. It's, the, it's our sun sign, it's our rising sign. Excuse me. So like when we think about that, that that's a big component of ourselves. Now, it could also be that in this next chapter, someone's going to be telling you that you've been hurting them. And maybe you haven't even realized this fire signs. Maybe you haven't realized how you've been hurting them or, or you know, how, how this came about, what exactly happened. Um... But it's something you didn't know. But I also feel with the Seven of Swords, he's almost like tiptoeing. So something, someone you've tiptoed around or you've tried to avoid, or maybe this is like a conversation you didn't particularly want to have because you weren't sure how it's going to come about, how it's going to play out, etc. Um, I get the vibe that you can no longer avoid this and it's like a confrontation that's going to need to happen because that Queen of Wands, she's so direct, you can't ignore it. Um, but I see it's more coming from your side, maybe more so if you're a Leo watching the confrontation or the, you know, the approach of this matter is going to happen from your side. So you're going to be the one to initiate it, um, is the vibe that I get. Some of you may have like some sort of flirtation that comes into the picture here. It could be innocent, um, at first, but it may cause some arguments in an existing relationship. So be careful. You obviously, you know, don't want to hurt your person. You don't want to hurt your your partner, your lover, your ex, or whatever this is. So I can see that someone's gonna, it's gonna, um, it's gonna get some sort of reaction. It's gonna spark some sort of reaction with someone you're with. So I get the sense that that could happen. Um, But I really feel a two of chalices, um, for those of you that have been single, you're going to be dating a lot and it's going to be pretty heated or pretty romantic, or there's a lot of different people that are going to come in around you and they're really, they're going to give you their heart. So they're either going to be very expressive as in like, maybe on their third, fourth date, they're going to say, look, I love you. I'm falling for you. Um, or they're going to be quite emotionally dependent on you and it's going to happen fairly quickly. Now, this could be a current connection or it could be one that's yet to play out in your life but nonetheless it could be one it could be um with someone who's super emotional okay maybe clingy needy hypersensitive possibly a water sign maybe uh, with that water energy but I also get the sense that this is, if this is you as the queen of wands, regardless of what gender you, uh, gender you identify as, if this is you as the fire figure, you're sitting here and you're pretty looking pretty content, you know, you're pretty looking pretty lustful here and someone's sort of just watching and waiting. Um, I get the sense that someone's waiting for you, fire signs. It's either they're waiting for you to come back to them they're waiting for you to move countries and relocate to be with them. They're waiting for you to reunite with them. They're sort of, they're not doing much about it though. For some reason they're being held back and they're not acting on it. Um, maybe they're scared it's going to result in an argument. 
but I feel like this next chapter that you're coming into or that you're approaching, there's someone who's really sort of watching and waiting. They haven't taken their eyes off you or they haven't um, taken their mind off what you had or the relationship you once came to develop between yourself and this person. So that hasn't shifted. And the sun, the sun is life force. The sun is like an injection of energy. So um, I feel like there might be someone here in this next chapter that's sort of watching and waiting for you and is either excited or determined or longing or like yearning for your relationship or maybe a past relationship to be revived once again. But I don't sense, this, sense that this person is acting now. I would say... You either know who this person is and you haven't done much about it because you don't want to or you do want to do something about it, but you're holding back. Maybe this new chapter is going to give you the opportunity to reconnect either in person, video call, um, go back on a date and explore what you had. This could even be a sense of like the one that got away. It's like they're back. They want to return. They want to give it a shot. It's sort of like the one that got away, the one you could have had type energy. And it's a little bit nostalgic in a way. Um, but yeah, if that does make sense, some of you may know um, what I'm talking about when I say that. Some of you may not, and that's okay. It may not resonate for you. Um, but there's a lot, of, a lot of things that have come up for you. A lot of fire cards, though. Queen of Wands, the Sun, the Eight of Wands. Um, I feel like love is coming into uh, your favor here. Things in a relationship are coming in favorably for you, fire sign. So I think you've got a lot to look forward to. Um, really positive reading for you guys. So I really appreciate you tuning in. Um, please don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe to the channel. Now, please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to get updates for when new readings are released. There's a lot more new content coming, which I know you guys are going to love. So um, please feel free to do that. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you soon. Thanks a ton for watching and uh, bye for now.